In this demo, we will simulate the impact of a storage processor failure on applications. We removed one of the two SPs from the VNX5300 SPB. As a result, all the loans that were previously owned by SPB automatically transferred to SPA, and none of the application service were interrupted during this SP failure event. This solution deploys all Exchange, SQL, and SharePoint servers as virtual machines on a Hyper-V cluster. The failover clustering feature provides the high availability for the virtual machines. Furthermore, the Exchange mailbox servers are configured in a database availability group DAC to provide high availability from the Exchange application and the service level. This solutions also use the EMC System Center management packs with Microsoft System Center suite to monitor the storage array on the same environment and infrastructure. Besides, EMC Storage Integrator, a free tool for EMC customers, is used greatly to simplify the managing, viewing, and provisioning of EMC storage in a Hyper-V environment for management. In this demo, you can see that we are using Microsoft Visual Studio Test Tool to simulate the user request to the SharePoint environment. This is the EMC System Center Management Packs integrated with Microsoft System Center Operations Manager. These tools enable the IT operators to discover and monitor the health of the EMC storage within SCOM. It includes the diagram view to show the EMC storage array discovered in the whole environment. It can also show the health of the lungs, SPs, and the ports in different view. Here you can see it listed the Ethernet port status in the VNX5300. These are the two storage groups that we would like to monitor in this demo. This lists all the lines within the, these two storage groups and its status. Besides this, this solution also imported different applications management pack. For example, this is the management pack for SharePoint 2010, which can help administrator to detect and respond to the critical events generated by SharePoint very quickly. Now we would like to simulate the impact of our SP failure on applications. We pull the whole SPB out from the VNX5300 in this demo. You can see that the SPB was shown as removed in the unit sphere. In the EMC PowerPass console, the two SPB parts were shown as failure and all the disk parts status was shown as the degree, which means only part of the parts are working right now. With EMC management packs, now you can see the system alert of storage processor B and its detail warning message. Meanwhile, you can right-click and select the health explorer of SPB. In this demo, the availability of SPB was shown as a warning. Here is the storage system health view in the EMC system management pack. You can see the warning of the SPB and its detail alert description. Now let's go back and see the VSTS load test for SharePoint. You can see that the request per second was dropped for a while because the SPB was removed from the storage array. However, for a while, these requests were back to normal because some of the SharePoint data loans that were previously owned by SPB automatically transferred to SPA. Let us do a quick summary of the demo. First of all, you can see that all the application service available, even SPB, was done. 
Secondly, the performance dropped for a while when the issue occurred, but it was back to normal quickly. After SPB was removed, SPA continued to serve the I.O. request from all the hosts, so its utilization increased a bit. Lastly, you can leverage the EMC management packs integrated with Microsoft System Center suits to monitor the whole private cloud environment from the application to the storage.